22nd, 2014, Wikispeed, Linwood, Washington, United States shop. I'm here with Brad Campbell, and he's going to talk to me a little bit about uh, brake pad grease or brake pad adhesive. And so the, the brake pad adhesive, the reason for it is, is it's an organic substance, and it's meant not to keep the calipers away from the... Uh, here's the caliper, and here's the brake yeah, pad. It's not to keep the calipers away from the... From the discs, because it, in a in a disc break, there's a little bit of run out, just a little bit, and that run out pushes the pads away just enough so that you can get enough clearance just by the mechanical action of the brake of the braking system. And but what the the that substance is for is to minimize brake squeak, because if you don't have something there, it will tend to chatter, and that high speed chatter will sound like a squeak to most people. And um, it, it isn't essential for racing applications. It's just nice to keep it quiet. Oh, so it's it's for uh, the the quieting the sound. Yeah. Um, so so here we have the brake caliper to see what we were just talking about. I'll push out the brake pad. When I order these brake pads from Honda Racing Line, they come with a ketchup packet of a black goo that they say to put on the back in the Honda service manual. And when I place it back in the caliper, here's the piston that applies the brake pad. Uh, it dries like a wood glue. And so to remove them, I have to push and push, and then poof, it pops out as the glue essentially cracks. Now, I thought that was maybe necessary. I'm not a mechanic. Um, but we're learning here just today from someone who knows much more about this. Thank goodness. Um, and probably everybody who grew up with automotive aspirations, changing brakes, knew this already. But glad to make this YouTube video for me, if no one else, is... It's not required. These pads will float and provide a very minor amount of parasitic drag, which while lame, is difficult to avoid and might require a different caliper design because even that gluish stuff isn't going to necessarily present, uh, prevent the brake pad float. What it's going to do is dampen the vibration so the pads make less noise and don't squeak. I'm going to have to push that in maybe with two hands or Brad will help me. Um, so now we know that those are not well, that was fast. <laughs> those are not required on the front or the rear caliper uh, unless we have a reason to reduce the noise and vibration. But uh, in terms of brake pad life, even um, or brake function, it's not required. Am, am I close to right? Yeah, I think that's correct. Love it.